Okie dokie, in this video, detailing um, keyboard shortcuts and configurations you can use when sharing your screen, um, recording videos, and um, like streaming, things like that, just to make your screen a lot more legible. Um, so initially I'm gonna start in, in Visual Studio Code. There's a couple of other um, tools I use, which is um, the Windows Terminal and um, also just just the shortcuts in chrome and uh, firefox just so um, you can know what they are i use a tool called karnak which i don't actually have enabled right now so let's just get karnak on the go and um, so if i do up and down here if i do control shift up and down yeah you'll see in the bottom right hand corner here the, the sort of keyboard combinations I'm using you can also do that with uh, VS Code as well so in my uh, keyboard key bindings so this is I've always found this tough to find so if you go preferences um, so let's uh, control shift P to get the command palette up and then search uh, keyboard shortcuts and then JSON uh, there's another one in there which I always get confused with so this one here uh, this is for um, a lot of the stuff which I've already detailed in a previous video about um, you know making VS Code yours, configuring it how you like. Um, I'll, I'll link that in the description. But there is one down here which I discovered recently, which is uh, not Collapse Explorer folders, but it is nice that one. Uh, this toggle screencast mode. So if I do Control Alt S and then Control Alt C, uh, I find Control Alt. S, control C, you see them pop up there. But then now, you see when I click on the screen, there's a little halo around the pointer. And um, any, any sort of keyboard um, movements I do now are recorded in VS Code as well. That's a really handy one if you're sharing your screen. Um, so the ones for, um, one other one is the zoom reset. My cat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm not sure if you can hear that. Um, so the the other one is uh, this control zero. I know in um, you're sabotaging me. Seriously, right? Um, I know the uh, uh, it, it, it used to be control zero, but I have found um, it doesn't work on why I'm using it in Windows. So um, I've just put this in here. Um, this defined key binding here, this like macro, this is where you can sort of put in any key combination you want and um, it will, you can say that and then you can put in your command and anything like that, it's, it's really a really good tool for sort of adding your own little custom um, key bindings to, to VS Code. Anyway, uh, stop rambling Scott. So control um, plus is to make everything bigger and then control minus to make it smaller. And if you can't remember where you were, control zero, just reset it back to normal. I'm just gonna bump this up a bit so we can see it better on the video here. Okay, so I think that's it for Visual Studio Code, really. Um, let's just take a look at that compared to Visual Code Insiders. Yeah, it's a bit it's a bit harder to read and especially when you're sharing with someone, you go, oh yeah, it's on, on this line here. Um, a lot of people, well, I know I'm particular sort of squinting at the screen to see that. Um, but then in, in here, popular posts, it's right at the top. And uh, it's not, you know, it's, it's a lot harder to miss that. And, and especially now we've got the, this little halo around the, um, the, the mouse as well. That's really handy. Okay, so uh, what else? The uh, terminal. So the terminal, uh, I think it's the same control plus to make stuff bigger. And uh, is it control zero to reset it? Yep, there you go. And then um, control minus to make it smaller. So um, you'll find these in the settings of um, Windows Terminal. Um, if you use something like Hyper, there's, I think it's the same thing, it's control comma, and it'll open up the settings for you. Um, this panel here, this is this is quite new. Uh, it's in the, the, the preview, and I've got that set to uh, the keyboard shortcut. But um, can't make it down to the EQ. Um, in here, you can have your general key, your general layout. Where's that? Which right here is font size. You can set that in your defaults. 
for your terminal. And then also I think I have these set down here. Themes. I've also made a video on sort of configuring Windows Terminal as well. This is not good to look at. Um, font size. Um, yep, so I've got these in uh, actions. It's, it's more just keyboard shortcuts again. And then this one here, I'm just doing control equals because it's shift to do the plus. Um, and then control minus to make the font size bigger and smaller. Okay, so that is your terminal. That is your terminal and your VS code. One last thing, it's the same again for let's say um, a web page. So let's go to scottspence.com, match. So this is in uh, Windows Edge, but it's just the same as Premium. Uh, Control plus, bump up the size, and then you can, you can reset it here. And then sort of control minus to make it smaller and let's just do that with firefox as well well firefox handy let's spin up firefox bring over the screen here and um it's the same with this control plus control minus and um yeah control zero to, to reset it again there you are so hopefully that will help you when sharing your screen with other people and um, trying to make sort of presentational content like in this video that's it for this one thanks a lot bye bye